Hello, everybody. Hang on, let me make sure. Okay, sorry, I was just making sure that my volume was turned up. At least a little bit. Anyway, uh, this is going to be my thoughts on Seven Deadly Sins Season 2, Episode 6. Half of this episode is uh, what ha is telling what happened when uh, Hendrickson and Dreyfus went to go and investigate the Danfall incident. And the other half is recapping what ha is an aftermath of what happened in after what happened left episode. Anyway, yeah, Henderson and Dreyfus are sent by the king to go and investigate what happened in Danifal, and that means they had to go down in the big hole. And this is back when they were young, when uh, Dreyfus had uh, Grimoire was really young, like a ki like a little kid. Anyway, they go down to investigate, and they start, you know, talking about stuff. About how, what their goals are, essentially. And they get a bit further down. They run into Fraudrin, which is the essence of the demon that was, had attacked Danifal. With his cohorts, and the one that killed Liz. Uh, Fraudrin wants a body, so he can obviously get out of there and start getting his power back and work on taking, you know, taking over the country. He cannot actually possess Dreyfus, surprisingly enough. He tried, but Dreyfus was just too strong mentally to keep for Fraudrin to keep, you know, possessing him. So he possessed Hendrickson instead. And Dreyfus was really against that and told him, you can have my body, just leave him alone, essentially. And so, Fraudrin got his body, it's Dreyfus, obviously. And that's actually who Gother saw when he wouldn't, back in season one, when he was fighting Dreyfus, and he got that mental illusion on him. And he said, you're never gonna get out of this place, and he turns around and says, well, who are you, or something like that. And that was Fraudrin. Fraudrin took him down. That's why Gother wasn't able to stop him. But, yeah, they end up heading back and act like all is well. And we know the events of what happened after that. The Grandmaster was killed. Seven Deadly Sins were framed. And all that stuff happened in Season 1. Because of that. Which sucks, because... Because I don't know if Dreyfus was actually in control any form of control the entire time, or if Fraudrin was just controlling them the entire time. Because if Dreyfus wasn't in any form of control, then he didn't get to really see his son grow up. Because it was Fraudrin who got to see all that. Dreyfus probably didn't. Then again, I do not know. It's not really clear. Anyway, for the last part of the episode, everybody wakes up from their injuries. Though Merlin is still stone, obviously, because you can't really undo the com the commandment that happened. Not even her magic can. But she's not dead. She's uh, before her body was turned to stone completely. She transferred her soul to her uh, sacred treasure, which was the ball she's always carrying around. So she's still alive in a way, but she's gonna have to find a way to get a, a body for herself or make one or something. At least. To be able to, you know, continue existing without having to keep herself in that ball. Anyway, uh. Whew, I'm sorry, I'm tired. Anyway, uh. They talk about how they're gonna essentially need to get a power boost in order to be able to stand any chance of fighting the Seven Deadly Sins. And. They plan on going to tell Deanne this because she's recovering from that hit to the head she took. While they're heading over there, King pops up, thanks to... Oslo? I think that's what his name is, Little Dog? And he ended up startling them, so Melio would just sent him, either send him flying or, knocked, or hit him or something. And they explain to him what happened, he tells them what happened. And he immediately goes to check on Deanne. The bad thing, though... She ended up losing her memory. So she doesn't know who King is. She knows who Meliodas is. So she at least remembers from before the season, first season started. Because she didn't recognize Elizabeth. 
But she knew who King was. She just didn't recognize, you know, his the form he's taking now. She just knew him as the bigger version of him. Anyway, that's where the episode ended. And, yeah. we fi- I, fi- I realized in the next episode how what happened to her memories. So, I will see everybody next time.